What's up guys? Welcome back to Keto Rewind. I'm Jess, wearing the same shirt again. <laughs> for a part stinky in here, no. three weeks now. No, just kidding. For part three of the Keto Rewind Toolbox Challenge. Now, obviously we filmed all these videos at, on the same day, so that's why we have the same shirts on. But you have to keep in the zone. Yeah, you gotta stay to go in to change clothes and all that, and like whatever. We filmed all these in the same day. This is part three of what you need in your toolbox. Your homework for this week is gonna be three more things. You're gonna be working with a book, uh, rescue meals, and grounding tools. And we'll show you what you need to do. Do you wanna start with the book? I'll start with the book. <clears throat> and a book follows along the lines with not just limited to books. You can do magazines, yeah. podcasts, audio books, yeah. um, that kind of, it doesn't have to just be a book. You can do what works for you. Yeah, and you know, in other words, if, if you like, you have a, um, a connection to a particular podcast or something, just obviously it's in, your, it's in your phone or your iPad, but on your card, because you, again, we wanna go through that physical action of getting into the book and the box and taking something out. Write on it, the name of the pod, uh, the podcast, the date, and whatever, so that you know on your phone how to find it. Um, same thing um, if it's a, a particular song or something, write it down. Get yourself a playlist going if that's what you need be. But it, you want something that is reminiscent of some shape of the written word, like in a book. Now, for instance, um, I like just I I like to read the books the old-fashioned way. Okay. <laughs> So I have lots of books that I use on my, I've used on my journey. I have books that are dog-eared. Um, there are like little daily inspirational books that you can find that are geared towards men and women. Um, there, it might be just a favorite paperback. I mean, I know I, my favorite book in the world, I have read probably six times. Um, there's probably um, one of my favorite authors is Anita Diamond. And, I don't know if I said that right, but anyway, I know who she is, and I've read her book like six times. So whatever um, you need a point of reference, you want to see the written word somehow, um, even if it's just the title of a song that you want or a playlist that you're going to work through, but you need to have something that in a book form, in the written word form, that you can pull out and it will channel your efforts in, the, in a good direction. And the next one, this is when I when I read this one, or when we were talking about the toolbox originally, when I was spiraling out of control and I needed help. Yeah, because you asked me basically. One of, like, what is this toolbox? You know, like whatever. Well, one of the things that I remember right off the well, like that asking me, why are you just drinking that? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, this one is you need rescue meals. These are tried and true meals that you love that get you back on track. So, for instance, say you had to go out and have this elaborate luncheon at work and because of the options you maybe only could have pasta because that's what they served and now you're feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. Well, when you get home, have breakfast for dinner. I mean, one of the easiest things to do. Go to your box do. and pull that out. And here's my <laughs> list of rescue meals. Rescue meals. So, I mean, something as simple as just have breakfast for dinner and don't sweat it. Yeah. Eggs and bacon. That's it. Um, that will rescue you from those thoughts. You're back on track. You're getting through it. Well, also, you know, you can refer to the Keto Rewind <laughs> January or June Clean 30 Challenges. All of those have loads of tried and true recipes mm -hmm. where you can just print something else and make it and feel good about what you're doing. But the recipes and the tried and true rescue meals, oh my gosh, they're a game changer. Mm -hmm. How many times... Do you fall, have you fallen off in your past of a diet and you didn't know how to just get back on it and get going? Or you just that question all the time. I'm out of ketosis. How long yeah, will it like, take me? What do I do and now? What do I have to do? You need the rescue meal. What you need to go to right off the bat. Now you, you can elaborate on what you did um, back in the day. With back the in the day, again, you know, back. For, uh, under my personal situation. Back in like 2008, yeah. products and stuff that, yeah. <clears throat> there was products one. that are available now didn't exist back then. No, this is a complete, I don't even know if anybody even knew about keto back then. It yeah. was very, very. Well, they, they, they knew about the way to like, eat, knew, but they didn't call it. Yeah. I was not, they didn't call it. It was more my, focused on Atkins and, still at that point. Right. Yeah. Atkins was around at that time. But one of the things that, um, that I did, and I still do it to this day, 
Um, if I had any indiscretions along the way, be it that on vacation or a cruise or um, just some making some poor choices, <clears throat> and I feel um, I'm lucky and fortunate that I don't. I've never really gained more than five pounds um, because I have what I consider the brakes on. But um, even still. I can tell by how my clothes feel. I need to, like, for instance, we go away on a two or three day vacation and you want to get back in the groove because you know you've had some indiscretions. For me, back then, there were these boxes, I think they were called EAS or so, I don't even know. the liquid. They the were a liquid drink. protein drink. That they were low would, carb. They were very low carb, yeah. obviously, no <clears throat> sugar, no dairy. And, um, we could drink, and back then we were advised that because of the nutrition value on the box, we could have up to five of those a day. So if I came back from vacation, um, my rescue meal, I knew Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, going to be boxes. I was going to be drinking liquid those boxes, diet. and that's what And that's I also because you have bariatric surgery, and right. liquids are go through, go through and give easier. me the nutrition that I need. So I still do it till this day. If I've had a... Uh, like if on the weekends, if something has occurred where, you know, like up at the lake, we may once in a while go for ice cream. We probably did that like four times last year. Yeah, well, after that, that was crazy <laughs> was last summer. Nice. Um, so I would come back and like for that whole next day, because the ice cream had sugar in it, uh, and that's going to trigger madness in my mind. So for that whole next day, I'm just on liquids all day. That can be broths, that can be whatever you pull out of your toolbox. This is my, and it should be repetitive, so that every time you have an indiscretion, you do the same thing. So you already know, I already know that it I'm works. having Tried and true. liquids, I'm having the EAS shake, so <clears throat> I'm having the Atkins box, whatever. It's the same every time. Jess said it's a good idea to maybe have three days of meals, which I thought might be a really good at idea. Because it kind of goes with my three days just, of liquids. Just something to get the progress moving again. Right, right. One other option that you can do, I didn't I didn't do extended fasting or anything in the beginning of my journey, but as I got further mm -hmm. along in yeah. my journey, I learned about using to, the tool fasting yeah. to help also. Because like if sometimes you know, like random time and things get crazy and I get off, I fall off the wagon. I know if I do a quick 24 hour fast, I'm back in ketosis within a day. So mm -hmm. when I'm spiraling out of control and I need to snap out of it, sometimes just all I have to do is fast. Mm -hmm. And that one all is, is, uh, you know, like you could do a three day fast. You could do like all kinds of fasting and just skipping breakfast. You know, like just something to get the momentum moving again. And what works for you, don't dive in and try to do a 64 hour fast if you've never really done fasting. That would be silly. A simple, you know, just some type of fasting uh, fasting routine can help snap you out of it. And for me, when it's all crazy and all the noise is going on, that not having to think about food quiets it down. Mm -hmm. And you have like a sense of peace despite being hung up, uh, mentally hunger. But it makes you feel good. I'm back on track. This is how I'm doing right. it. I'm it, already back on track. It's 24 hours. And it just it just yeah. compels me forward. So sometimes that's what happens. I resort to doing a 24 hour fast. One thing I just I have to I have to chuckle in in dad's toolbox. You know what it would be? He, on, he, if he needed a Sausage rescue gravy. meal, no. If he needed a rescue meal, he put out he'd pull out a card that says Shut your pie hole. Shut your pie hole. <laughs> I just know he would do that. <laughs> Wouldn't he? Yeah. So, again, and that's consistent. Mm -hmm. You know, every single time he can get up in the morning and go, shutting my pie hole today. <laughs> but it's consistent, and it's the same thing you use every single time. Make out your three-day rescue meal. It's, 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 the matter, focus. it's the matter of getting to the goal right. line or falling back into old behaviors. Same with the negative or flipping the page with a positive, which is what you want to do. All right, last one. The last one is a grounding, a grounding tool. tool. Now, um, this is whether you whether you subscribe to the universe and the energy doesn't it, you know is not what's important here. What's important is that you understand we all came from the ground, we're rooted, the energy is there, um, the, our roots, like in the trees, look at a tree, the life of a tree. Compare your life to the life of a tree. 
your rooting also the in the fact that sometimes you get so off course you're no longer grounded right and you're up here and you need to bring it back you need to bring it back <laughs> to the roots so uh for me as i said before I'm, i do i practice reiki and so for me i would go and i would probably yeah pick up one of my crystals i would pick up my either the rose quartz or the phrenic and um Meanwhile, the cat likes to just knock them off. And she sees <laughs> yeah. when she knocks them like, off yeah. right off. <laughs> I paid a hundred dollars for that crystal. And the cat's like <laughs> oh, doing what cats do. Savage. So all my really good ones now are where she can't knock them off because you know this is just what I do. So I will go outside, and grounding can't happen in your house. Grounding has to happen outside where the ground is. All right, so I would just go sit and, um, you know, sit outside, you know, work the lake. I'd sit out on the deck, I'd sit under a tree, sit down on the dock, go out and sit with your feet touching the ground. Make that connection, make the um, make it leap to your life. Look, look it out, but like that tree, the the roots will come back in through the grounding with your feet, and then you're gonna grow just like that tree to reach the top, the universe. Another thing that you can do if you're not into totally into the, the spiritual um, aspect or energy aspect, pick up, <clears throat> and we all do this, you go walk on the beach, somebody gets a shell, somebody gets a fancy stone, a sand dollar, you walk through the woods, you find a shiny object, that's <laughs> what we do. You could pick up something as simple as a stone, a beach, like this is my beach stone. So I would go outside and like just sit there and just keep it in your hand. And every time I see this beach, this seashell, I remember where it was, what we were doing. It sometimes puts that smile on my face, but it connects me to the reality of my life. And we are, we are grounded when we're connected to the reality of our life. And for me, I do two different things. For one, pounding the pavement. Grounding. By going for a yes. walk. Yes. Also yes. helps ground myself because when I sometimes feel like I'm leaving and I'm going off off track, going for that walk brings me back. It gets me grounded again. Mm -hmm. And additionally, when after my, my children go to bed, my husband and I like to sit outside and we sit on the porch and we talk and that's like our one hour mm -hmm. that I get to spend with my husband uninterrupted just you know that one in one time and that that just personal the time lights. it's a beautiful it's, we have lights on the little yeah. led lights outside on the porch and it just gives that nice ambiance and it's just a nice way to wind down your day and you don't even realize you're regrounding every single <laughs> I night did. that's you what do we that. do so whether it's cold or hot or it connects you with your life you know mm -hmm. the 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 tree again use the the uh the stereo the tree the roots the trunk is your life and the the leaves and the branches are all what we're part of every branch on that tree is an aspect of your life every leaf on that tree is a dimension of mm -hmm. your life oh yeah so compare yourself to that tree and that will reconnect you to the ground. And then you're going to look at your little, little, um, on your, your little affirmation on your, on, so you've gone, you go outside at night, now you can put one of these on your mirror. I have one for my You kid. can change, yeah. Uh -huh. and, I, love I mean, just think of the way you go into bed versus, um, I failed, I failed I again. I 35 pounds in a week. I failed again. I just can't, no, oh, you don't want to go to bed like that. You're, you're flipping so many pages on the negative. Mm -hmm. You want your book full of positive, not negative. Mm -hmm. You want to change and rewrite your book, your story. So take that seriously and think about it. Find your own ways. And for me, just for example, even though winter or summer is going on i still go outside it does just mm -hmm. the, just because it's winter or summer it's raining or raining there. um i mean granted our porch is covered yeah. and i have a heater on the porch but <laughs> and i know i can wear but a sweatshirt do but too. i would do it regardless so yeah. like it's just something that we do and we, we do it every day so and the same thing with going for a walk you know that just it's just what i do mm -hmm. to snap out of it it feels good. the lake we do campfires and we mm -hmm. sometimes just sit around the campfire not really saying much just mm -hmm watching the fire, our feet are touching the ground. 
it's like that connection at the end of the day. And then the only other thing I want to add is, okay, these are just things that, that like, you know, we were given this checklist back way back with the, in the group support that I was in. These are just suggestions. Phil, if you have another dimension that you want to add mm -hmm. to, oh yeah, this your, is completely yeah. custom. This yeah. is you. This is just. But you British. want ten good things yeah. in there. We're Make just it your, yeah. You know, that's your goal. Yeah. If seven's your lucky number, you want seven good things in there. This is basically just what we're doing to right. give you ideas. But right. your box shouldn't look anything like our box. Correct. The principles should just be there. Correct. Correct. And the and the categories that we've given you are like the good principles that. I'm just that have worked for me for many years now. This will be 13 years, so um, it, it it can become your reality. Mm -hmm. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below what yours are. Help our help the other keto rewinder community here. <laughs> Will there be one more video? There'll like be recapping? one more. There'll be a recap okay. and an okay. action for the next video, and that'll complete this month with the keto rewind toolbox challenge. You're gonna love it. This is this is. Don't think it's corny. Like it's, some people be like, I'm not doing that. I'm doing oh, that. No <laughs> some of the guys in my support group are like. Uh, you know, working in construction, big heavy boot guys, and they got their little manila envelope that they've tucked under their vest because they don't want anyone to know what they're doing. Three weeks into it, they were the first ones, oh, I know, oh, I know, speaking up at the group, you know. Mm -hmm. So just do trust, it. Trust. Trust the process. The process. Trust the process. We, this, there's <laughs> a reason to this madness. Uh huh. And there's beauty in it. So, anyways. We'll see you at the next one. I'm Jess. I'm Mom. And you're watching Keto Rewind. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.